Researchers have developed a very big disk that can store up to 200 terabytes of data and may represent a return to optical media for long-term storage. This article was just published three days ago by Andy Edzer on PC Gamer. 200 terabytes? That is a lot of storage. The biggest hard drive of my computer is two terabytes. That's 1% of the amount of data this disk can hold. Even with all of my hard drives combined, I have like seven terabytes of data, which is still less than 5% of what this disk can hold. I can't imagine how much it must cost to create one of these things, but historically optical disks have been really cheap to make compared to other forms of data storage. By making use of a 3D planar recording architecture, a team of scientists and researchers at the University of Shanghai for Science and Technology have managed to exponentially increase the capacity of an optical disk. The process involves stacking hundreds of data recording layers a mere one micrometer apart, all while keeping the overall thickness of the disk the same as a traditional DVD or Blu-ray. That is so crazy. Even the most advanced quad-layer Blu-ray discs currently top out at around 128 gigabytes of data, which sounds much more feasible, much more reasonable. When it comes to video games in particular, I thought it would be interesting to look at the biggest PC games by file size. So I found this article by Game Rant on the 26 biggest PC games by file size ranked. The list starts at 68 gigabytes, Quantum Break, which just seems crazy, but now when you compare it to that CD, you could fit almost 3,000 copies of Quantum Break onto one of those CDs. We got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, 70 gigabytes. Tom Clancy's The Division 2, 75 gigabytes. Deus Ex, 75. The first 100 gigabyte game is number 20, The Last of Us Part 1. You could fit 2,000 copies of The Last of Us Part 1 onto one of those discs. I forgot to mention the name Very Big Disc? Trademark. That's such a good name. It just sounds like a parody. I thought for sure this was an Onion article to start with. Red Dead Redemption 2, Forspoken, and Baldur's Gate 3 are all around 150 gigabytes. That means you could still fit over a thousand copies of Baldur's Gate 3 onto one of these discs. Number 3 is Star Wars Jedi Survivor with 155 gigabytes. Number 2 is Medal of Honor Above and Beyond, 180 gigabytes. And number 1 is Ark Survival Evolved with 250 plus gigabytes. Plus, I guess if you include the DLC and probably mods or whatever. If we assume you can use up every single little bit of data on this disc, usually part of the storage is reserved for formatting or whatever, but that would mean that you'd be able to fit 800 copies of Ark Survival Evolved onto one single disc. That is so crazy. And that's not even like a hard drive, right? You keep all your games on. Discs, typically in the past, you just put one game on and then you ship that to the stores and they sell it to the consumers. Would this mean that, theoretically, people might start using disks as their primary storage? It doesn't seem very efficient or feasible having a big disk like this spinning around in your computer, compared to the, like, micro SSDs we have nowadays. And yeah, the article confirms this too. As things currently stand, the researchers have yet to develop a fast and affordable drive to read the disks. Although the new media could be made to be compatible with current optical disk technology in the future, it's an interesting concept, right? Because like right now on my primary hard drive, the only game I have that's lar even larger than 100 gigabytes is Baldur's Gate 3. Right below that is Monster Hunter World with just over 50 gigabytes. I only have three games that take up more than 20 gigabytes of storage. And then the vast majority of my games are less than 20 gigabytes. But that's just PC games. Think about how this could benefit physical retail locations like GameStop. I don't know if GameStop will still be around by the time this format gets popularized. If the format ever does become popularized, it could be that it turns out to just not be that practical compared to traditional drives. But the gaming industry in general has shifted so much to digital downloads over the years. Even GameStop, like their primary thing, isn't really physical games anymore. It's like merchandise. Controllers, accessories, pop figures, Pokemon cards the consoles themselves, accepting lowball trade-ins and then selling them back at way above what they're worth. So does this mean that physical games are going to be making a comeback? I don't know. As someone in their 30s, uh, the industry's been heading towards exclusively digital media for a long time, and I can't really see that trend going backwards. 
I have a pretty extensive physical game collection myself, but even me, for the vast majority of my games over the last few years, I've switched to digital. When you get to be an adult and you have to clean and rearrange your stuff all the time and move, it gets to be a real headache moving all these games around. And the conveniences of digital downloads just can't be understated. Especially considering most of the major AAA developers make you install the entire game on your hard drive now anyway, even if you own the physical disc. That was a huge part of the appeal for physical media for me. You didn't have to worry about conserving your hard drive space. The entire game was on the CD or the cartridge. Now even if I buy physical games, they can take up like a quarter of my PS5 hard drive. What's the point? Not to mention the instant gratification. People who pre-ordered the physical version of Final Fantasy VII, if they're having the game delivered, they'll be lucky to see it by midday on the day it comes out. Whereas people who did the digital download will be able to play it as early as midnight on the game's release date. And people do love their instant gratification, especially with social media. Like if you don't play this game as soon as it comes out and you plan on being on social media, good luck not getting spoiled. That's also not to mention it can be kind of a pain to switch discs. It's much easier to just go back to the main menu or go to your Steam library and click on a game than it is to actually physically swap out the discs. I mean, not that swapping out a disc is difficult, but, you know, a few seconds to a minute here and there, it, it adds up. But what do you think? Have you switched to exclusively digital video games? Do you still have a big old video game collection? Are you going to switch to very big discs if they become the norm? I love that name. Let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, consider subscribing here on YouTube or on Patreon to see more stuff from me in the future. Thanks for watching.